Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, then welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to join the family. So today's video, I wanted to do the 40 beauty questions tag. It's just a list of 40 questions that are all beauty related. So if you love beauty just like I do and you wanna know a little bit more about me, then just keep on watching. I think this tag has more than 40 questions, but anyways. Okay, so I do have the questions on my phone. Um, so the first category is skincare. So the first question is, how many times do you wash your face daily? I actually do not wash my face. Um, I know that sounds kind of like weird, but I used to wash my face a lot and it actually made my skin a lot worse than what it is right now. What I like to do is just when I get in the shower, I like to put like hot water on it and just like let the steam just like get into my pores, if that makes sense. Um, so I do not wash my face. I'll like use a St. Ives scrub every now and then, but I used to use the apricot scrub like religiously every day in the shower, but just like other face washes too, it's not just St. Ives. Like it makes my skin a lot worse than what it is. Um, so it kind of does the opposite effect of what it's supposed to do. So I actually do not wash my face. What skin type do you have? Dry, oily, or combo? I used to have really dry skin, like super, like I was completely dry, like just dry skin. But as I've gotten older, I have combo skin. So I will have dry like cheek areas, but then an oily nose, like a little bit oily forehead. Um, so I definitely am combo skin at the moment. What is your current facial wash? I do not have one, but I really do like the St. Ives apricot scrub. Um, I use a teeny, teeny amount because I don't like to use too much. I feel like it's too harsh. So I will use that, but like I said, I do not wash my face on the daily. Do I exfoliate? No, I do not exfoliate. Um, I mean, it's not like I have anything against exfoliating. I just don't. So yeah, what brand do you use? Since this is um, the skincare category, I will say St. Ives, but I really do like Clean and Clear. That's like a really good brand for my skin. I use the, the Clean and Clear Dual Action Moisturizer twice a day, maybe even more. Um, but yeah, I really do like Clean and Clear for my skin. What moisturizer do you use? I just said it. I use the Clean and Clear Dual Action Moisturizer twice a day, once in the morning when I wake up before I go about my day, and then the second time right after I'm in the shower. Um, once I get out and like my face is still kind of damp, or just like a little bit wet, I will apply moisturizer. Do I have any freckles? Um, I mean, I have like some beauty marks or whatever. I don't know if you like would consider them freckles, but I mean, I guess this, that, this one right here. I mean, I would consider those freckles. Do you use eye cream? No, I do not use eye cream. Do you or did you have acne prone skin? I didn't have acne prone skin, but when I was younger, I had rosacea. Um, my mom has it right now and she's always had it, but when I was younger, I had it really, really bad. I would have a lot of redness and then this whole area right here was straight bumps. Like I kid you not, it was so bumpy. I have like some, but they're like basically flat, but this whole area here and some over here was just completely bumpy. Um, as I've gotten older, it has gone away. I don't really know why exactly, but it has gone away. Um, so I never really had acne prone skin. Like I did have pimples, of course, like growing up. But my main thing was rosacea. Did you ever have to use proactive? No, I never used proactive. I've heard great things about proactive, but I have never had like enough acne for me to want to pay what, like that $99 or something like that. Um, so I've never actually used proactive, but I bet I would like it if I did. Next category is makeup. So the first question, what foundation do you use? I use the Josie Marin Vibrancy Foundation. You guys know that I am obsessed with this stuff. I got it um, last summer when I went to Las Vegas. I went to the Sephora there and this is the one that she recommended and I've loved it ever since. I do want to kind of like branch out a little bit because I've literally been using that one since last summer. So if you guys have any foundation recommendations, please leave them down below in the comment section so I can, you know, broaden my horizons a little bit. How about concealer? I use the 
LA Girl Pro Conceal in Porcelain. It's super, super affordable and it does a really, really good job. So I highly recommend LA Girl products. I'm not sponsored or anything, I'm just saying. Do you know your undertone color? I think I have a yellow undertone um, or olive. I think it's more yellow though because when I went to Sephora like a million years ago, I wanted to buy the, what is it, Bare Minerals. They have this like powder foundation or whatever and I wanted to buy the kit. So I went there and she did tell me that I had a yellow undertone, I think. So I think I'm gonna go with yellow. What do you think of fake eyelashes? I love fake lashes. I think they're so fun to play with, like all the different styles. They could go with literally any single look. Um, I do not wear them on the daily. Like I know I, there's one YouTuber that I watch, Nicole Guerrero, she's one of my favorites. Um, she wears lashes like on the daily usually, um, even if they're like a natural lash. But my eyelashes are extremely long already. So I do not like to wear false lashes every day, but for a look or if I'm going out, I will definitely wear false lashes. I think they're so fun. Did you know that you were supposed to change your mascara every three months? No, I didn't know that. Now I know that, but I didn't know that. What brand of mascara do you use? I use the Benefit Bad Gal Bang, which just looks like this. I've used a bunch of different brand mascaras. I have used a lot of Benefit ones now that I'm thinking about it, but there's one by Wet n Wild. It's like the yellow tube, amazing. Like that is a great affordable mascara. It used to be literally my favorite. I couldn't live without it, but then it dried out of course because it's mascara. So then I had to switch, but I love all types of mascara. Sephora or MAC? Um, I mean, I like both. I don't really go to MAC that much. I don't have a MAC store in my mall. I have like the one at, what is it Macy's? I think it's Macy's and Nordstrom, um, but I definitely go to Sephora more than I go to MAC, but I will go to MAC if I need like Fix Plus or something. So I guess I'm gonna go with Sephora. Do you have a MAC Pro card? No, I don't. What makeup tools do you use in makeup application? So, I mean, I use brushes, um, I use sponges. I like to use sponges for foundation. Um, and I mean, I think that's it. I mean, I don't know what else you could really say for that one. But definitely I use brushes and I use sponges. Do you use makeup base slash primer for the eyes? I don't use specifically um, eyeshadow primer. Like I used to use the Too Faced Primer Potion or was it Urban Decay Primer Potion? I think it's Urban Decay Primer Potion. Um, I used to use that, but then when I found out you could just use concealer or like even foundation, like and it'll do the same thing. I said, why not? You know, it's just so much easier. Do I use makeup base slash primer for the face? Yes, I do. I use the Cover Effects Illuminating Primer. Oh my God, guys, I literally found out a couple days ago on YouTube that Cover Effects made um, an illuminating setting spray, like the same type as the primer, but in a setting spray. I have to get it. What is your favorite eyeshadow? Um. I don't have a favorite specific eyeshadow, but I have a favorite palette, which is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam, but I do not have like a specific shade. That's my favorite. Do you use pencil or liquid eyeliner? I use both. I use pencil to tight line and for the waterline, and then I use liquid for like the lid itself and the wing. How often do you poke your eyes with an eyeliner pencil? Girl, all the freaking time. And when I'm like tight lining, I can feel my contact moving and it's just, it's just not a good time. What do you think of pigment eyeshadows? I mean, I love them. Do you use mineral makeup? I do not use mineral makeup. I used to, like I said, the bare minerals. Um, when I was younger, like when I had rosacea, I thought that was like a healthier way to use makeup for my skin at least. But as of right now, I do not use mineral makeup. What is your favorite lipstick? I actually don't have a favorite lipstick like with me right now. I mean, I love the ones that I have, but the one that I have my eye on is the Tarte, um, I think it's like the, it's like the C collection and it's called Surf's Up. Patrick Starr, if you watch his videos, uses it all the time. I mean, not so much anymore, but like, in prior videos, he used them so many times and the color is beautiful and I've had my eye on it for so long. I don't even have it and that's my favorite lipstick. 
How about lip gloss? Um, I don't have a favorite lip gloss, I would say. Hmm. Well, I do really like the Kylie Cosmetics lip glosses. I have literally. Um, and it's so, like, comfortable to wear. So I really do like Kylie glosses. What is your favorite blush to use? I don't like powder blush. I feel like it just doesn't look right on my skin. So I use a cream. Or, yeah, I guess you could say this is a cream. So I use this one right here. It's the Milk Makeup Lip and Cheek Duo. I haven't tried any other cream blushes. Um, so I can't really say it's my favorite. But I mean, I love it. But that's the only one that I've tried. So once I try more, I'll let you know. Do you buy your makeup on eBay? No, I've actually never used eBay before in my entire life. So... No. Do you like drugstore makeup? Of course I love drugstore makeup. Like, drugstore makeup, some people sleep on, but like, they have great shit. Like, sometimes it's even better than the stuff you find at Sephora. Like, drugstore makeup is great. Do you go to CCO's? I actually didn't even know what CCO was, so I had to Google it. And it is the Cosmetic Company Outlets. Um, I've actually never been to one of those before. I don't even know where they would have them. Do you ever consider taking makeup classes? Yes, I actually do consider it. Um, I wish I did it like when I was younger. I remember when I was in Brazil once and my stepmom took my sister, my older sister, to get like her makeup done and like learn and take classes or whatever. And then she asked me if I wanted to do it and I said no. I think it's because I'm really shy sometimes. So like being in that like different environment, I was like, no, like I don't want to do it. But I should have done it. Um, but yeah, I would consider taking makeup classes and I definitely want to go to like a master class one day. Are you clumsy in putting on makeup? I would have to say no. No. Name a makeup crime that you hate. Hmm, makeup crime that I hate. Oh, I hate when people don't blend out their like what is this like this area right here you know when it's like you blend the contour into the blush into the highlight like you want to make sure they're all blended i hate when it's straight straight line of bronzer straight line of this straight line i just like i've seen people at school like on the shuttles like with just harsh harsh makeup and i'm just like i just want to help you blend it out just like a little bit because it just looks so much better i i think that's my number one thing is like not blending it and just like leaving it like as a line and also like when eyeshadows like I've seen pictures on girls of girls on Instagram and their eyeshadow looks beautiful the color looks beautiful but it's just like straight harsh like there's no transition there's no nothing it's just like there it's just like cut I don't know and I'm not talking about a cut crease like I wish I could show you what I'm talking about I don't know I just just blend okay do you like colorful shades of makeup or neutral tones um I tend to stick with neutral tones just because it's like safe for me it's like safer um but i am exper experiment i am experimenting more with um colorful shades of makeup so i guess i would say i like both of them which celebrity always has great makeup i mean kylie jenner always has bomb makeup like i know she has her own makeup artist but she can do makeup herself like she'll do it on snapchat and i don't know it just looks so so good i think her makeup, I mean, and also she has her own makeup line, so like, of course she's gonna be good at it. But Kylie Jenner definitely has good makeup. If you could leave the house using just one makeup item, what would you use? Well, I would say moisturizer, because I live by moisturizer, but I don't think that's considered a beauty item. So I think I would say highlight, of course, so I can glow. Could you ever leave the house without any makeup on? Yes, I don't wear makeup on a daily basis. I mean, I go to class, I go to my job, I do this, I do that, and I don't put makeup on. Just because sometimes, like, first of all, I don't feel like it, I'm fucking lazy. Or it's just like, it's not worth it, in a way. If I have a presentation or my skin looks extremely red that day, I will use makeup. But on the daily, I definitely don't. So I don't have a problem going out of the house without makeup on, because I just do it, like, basically every day. Do you think you look good even without any makeup on? Um, I'm gonna be that bitch and be confident and say, yes, I think I look good without makeup, but I also think I look really good with makeup. Um, so yeah, I feel like everyone looks great both ways. It's just how you feel. 
In your opinion, what is the best makeup line? <sighs> Honestly, that's hard because I do not have like a huge range of makeup. Like I said in my, I think it was my chit chat get ready with me and q and I am a college student so I don't have money to be spending 500 bucks at Sephora every three weeks. Um, so I don't know. I really do like Benefit. Their, their products are amazing and I've, I have a lot of Benefit products and I have used a lot of Benefit products in the past. Um, I mean, I can't really say they're the best because there are a million other like lines that I haven't tried, but Benefit is definitely either the best for me that I've tried or it's up there. So the last question is what do you think of makeup? I think makeup is great. I think it's so fun to just play around and be creative and do whatever you want to do. I think makeup is the best when, I mean you can go full glam and do crazy creative looks, but I also think it's great how people can put makeup on just to enhance their features and not completely change their face. I think that's something that I kind of don't like is when people completely change their face. You don't even know who they are like with makeup and they look like a completely different person without makeup. So I think makeup is great for anyone. Um, it's just fun and I don't see anything wrong with using makeup. So that concludes the 40 beauty questions tag. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love doing tag videos, so if you guys have any tags that you want to tag me in, go ahead. I would love to do them. I have some on my phone, but I haven't gotten around to do them. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and join the family, of course, like I said, and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified every single time I upload so you can stay on top of it. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in my next video.